This is the Nike Mercurial Vapor 4. And back when I first started playing football, this was the latest and greatest in the Nike Mercurial Speed Boot range. And now 10 whole generations later, we have the Vapor 14. And with the Vapor 13 being as good as it was, Nike have set the bar really high for what their Mercurial range should be. Can the Vapor 14 match that high standard set by the Vapor 13? Keep watching, we find out. Hey what's going on guys this is YJ Football my name is Yaz and welcome to our first unboxing video of 2021. We've taken a little bit of a break but now we're back and what better boot to start out with than the brand new Mercurial Vapor 14. If you're new to the channel we do football boot unboxing videos, reviews and tutorials as well so if you're interested in any of that content make sure you subscribe and hit like and support in any way you can. Thanks so much guys and like I said we'll be unboxing it first and giving you our first impressions and thoughts and a little bit of an overview on the whole design of the Vapor 14. In front of me we have the regular Nike Elite Level box and it's pretty standard. You've probably seen it on our channel a few times and it's this Vapor 14 there. And here we have the Nike Mercurial Vapor 14 in all its glory. That is one colorful boot. How many colors does it have across the upper and that sole plate? You see that? It's got a bit of a wearable finish on it. That's awesome. Anyway, this boot looks like it's straight out of the future and I love what they've done with the kind of transparent design across the upper showcasing and highlighting all the different aspects that make up this brand new upper. And if you guys haven't heard before, Nike have ditched the fly -knit, full fly -knit up construction upper from the Vapor 13 and the Vapor 12 to come out with this new Vapor Posit upper that's actually synthetic. And just like with any Nike Elite level football boot, you do get that amazing string bag and I love what they've done with this one here for this particular colorway with the Vapor 14. Kind of like a flattened blueprint version of the upper of the boot laid out across the upper, across the bag. Flipping it over, you have a pink layer with a really clean Mercurial logo on in the, right in the middle. Love that. And if you didn't know before, the current Mercurial generation, the Vapor 14 and Superfly 8 are called the Dragonfly. I'm not sure why they picked the Dragonfly as the sort of animal or where, where they've used cheetahs and fast animals before but it kind of turns out that the dragonflies are pretty fast and they've sort of drawn inspiration from dragonfly wings when kind of designing the upper. It does sort of look like dragonfly wings especially with that engineered mesh across the whole upper of the boot and dragonflies are meant to be really fast like I said moving forward and backwards and change of directions with crazy maneuvers and stuff so yeah so these are the Monarchy Mercurial dragonflies. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Like I've said, Nike have brought back a synthetic mercurial vapor. Alright guys, calm down. I know, I'm just as excited as you are. But they've dished the full flyknit construction from the previous two models with the Vapor 13 and 12. And instead they've gone for this new upper called the Vapor Posit Upper. To put it simply, the Vapor Posit Upper consists of four different layers. So the most inner layer is what's called the Veil Q lining. This is the inner lining of the boot that goes all across the upper on the inside. And it feels really soft it's like a nice synthetic suede material especially on that around the collar here inside inside the heel and above that is what's called the titan synthetic and this is all the colorful layers that you're seeing underneath the main outer layer of the upper this is where it gets really interesting because the titan synthetic is manipulated across the upper in different ways in specific areas of the boot to provide the right kind of support exactly where you need it and you can see that with the different colors across the upper so each portion kind of shows a different way that the Titan Synthetic is being used. And on top of the Titan Synthetic you have this engineered mesh. It's this big mesh layer that you see across the whole boot. And what's interesting is that the size of the grids go bigger and smaller depending on what part of the shoe you're looking at. So in some areas you have a little bit bigger mesh areas and other areas you have smaller, especially around this blue area here and across the toe as well. It's a little bit different everywhere. Oh no, the outermost layer is the Duratec WT skin. The, the Duotech skin is kind of like the outermost layer that's used on the Vapor 13 as well. It's sort of just like a silicon layer that adds a little bit of grip and just the final touch on the ball that you can feel with your hand there as well. And as you can see closely, if you look closely, there's all these numbering on the different colored areas. And they cor actually correspond to the insole here. Let's take this out for a sec. It's basically the same insole as the previous generation with the Nike grip little groovings at the bottom here that kind of lock into the inside of the boot there 
And on this insole, you have a list of all the different technologies that make up the Vapor Posit Upper and the Vapor 14 in general. And looking at the list, number one on the list is that Veil Q lining we've already spoken about. And this corresponds to number one, which is right there on the upper and this pink area. But to be honest, most of the, most of the boot does consist of the Veil Q lining, not just this pink area. But the pink area sort of emphasizes some of the perforations going around the upper. And all these perforations are just to reduce weight as where possible, where reinforcement is not needed, and just to reduce the weight of the boot overall. And finally, taking a look underneath the boot and looking at what's going to give you all that explosive traction, it's the sole plate. And there's not too much difference between the previous generation and this current edition. I'm just going to outline them really quickly for you. The first main one being that they've connected the split sole design instead of having it split on the heel and the forefoot, they've connected it with this larger Aerotrack spine you can see here. That's the new Aerotrack spine just to give it a bit more stiffness, add a bit of durability and I think it adds to that spring back sensation as well. We'll find out when we test it out but those are the two key kind of changes as well as one little minor change with the stud orientation here. Otherwise the stud pattern is the same but these two studs here have actually been rotated and the angle has been changed a little bit to move outward so I guess Nike figured out that doing so would sort of maximize or just enhance the performance even if it's just slightly. And very lastly, this tiniest little stud in the middle is a little bit shorter. But apart from that, everything looks the same and I'm sure the performance would be more or less the same too. But you know what they say, right? If it's not broken, then you don't have to fix it. And the Vapor 13 and Vapor 12 model have already been really good with the soul play department. But in, just in terms of aesthetics, I love what they've done with the kind of wearable finish on these so the whole kind of chrome really cool shiny finish will wear off in time but right now they just look really cool and they're shiny sort of like got like a matte shine to them it goes really well with the whole aesthetic of the boot with the colors and the futuristic look and as a mercurial fan i'm pretty happy with the direction they're going with this and i love that they're constantly innovating and we saw sort of similar-ish generations previously but they've always upgraded and tried to create the best possible boot and keep moving forward and I'm really impressed with what they've done with the current Mercurial model right here. Now we're going to go into a short on-feet clip of these boots to show you how they look and to give you a quick recommendation on the sizing. With Nike, I've always gone for a size 9.5 US or 8.5 UK. And I did the same with the Vapor 14. I'm also wearing them with my Carbon Athletic Grip Socks. They're my personal preference when it comes to grip socks and I'm a huge fan of the high quality of the materials. The shape of the boots felt quite familiar, especially after wearing Vapor 13s for all of last year. I did immediately feel the difference with the Vapor Posit upper though. While the Flyknit felt like a sock that stretched to the shape of my foot, the Vapor Posit was just a tad less snug and I missed the sock-like sensation just a tiny bit. But when I tightened up the laces, the lockdown of the boots felt great. But my only complaint was that they felt ever so slightly roomier in the toe box compared to the previous generation. With that said, I love how they felt on feet. The trademark mercurial feel was still present with the Vapor 14 and I love how sharp and pingy the ball felt on the upper. If you want to pick up a pair of Vapor 14s, I'd recommend you go true to size as that's always been the case for me and I've had no problems. I'll leave links in the description below so you can pick up a pair of Vapor 14s or Carbon Athletic Grip Socks for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Like this video, it really helps us know that we're doing a good job. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.